and welcome here to Upfield Rectory. I'm Father John, I'm the Rector of Upfield, and this is Sophie, who's the Rectory Dog. We're here for All Saints Day today, which is why I'm wearing white and which is why Sophie has a wonderful new bandana that's been made for her by the wonderful Crafty Ladies group at Holy Cross. So thank you to them for Sophie's bandana. So let's begin with the special prayer for today. God of holiness, your glory is proclaimed in every age. As we rejoice in the faith of your saints, inspire us to follow their example with boldness and joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so the reading for today from St. Matthew's Gospel, which is the Beatitudes. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So today is All Saints Day and today we remember the generations of great people throughout uh, all uh, different ages, from different times, from different places, all of whom have been channels of God's love to the world. We see them in our stained glass windows, people like St. Peter and St. Paul, the great apostles that Jesus called to uh, begin his great project of the church throughout the world. We also have people like the Blessed Virgin Mary, Jesus' mom, and St. Mary Magdalene, who was uh, Jesus' great friend, who was also called the Apostle to the Apostles. We have in later history, saints like St. Francis of Assisi, that great spiritual figure who brought a real reformation in the church and a whole new dimension of spirituality. We've got uh, people like um, St. Nicholas, better known as Father Christmas, who's the patron saint of children. We've also got more contemporary people like St. Maximilian Kolbe, um, who's a great saint of Auschwitz, who died there. All these men and women through the ages, um, they can feel quite different to us, can't they? They feel heroic, um, perfect. They seem sometimes perhaps a bit distant. Well, they're not. They're not perfect. Uh, they are not really different from us, um, and they're not really that distant. They were ordinary men and women in their own times who struggled, who got things wrong, who made a mess of things. And yet through their perseverance and through God's love and his grace, they actually made, managed to make the world a better place to be in and they were witnesses to God's presence in this world. In the early church, uh, everybody in the church was called a saint. So that when St Paul, for example, wrote to the church in Corinth, he'd write to the saints in Corinth, meaning everybody there. And in the same way, in our own generation, we are called to be saints. Okay, we might feel fragile, we might feel weak, we might very well struggle and make a mess of things and get things wrong. But in that, we are just like the saints in all the generations of the church, ordinary people who persevere and through God's love, 
can actually make this world a better and holier and happier place to be in, pointing to the presence of God. And doesn't this world need to know God's love and to have a real sense of his presence? So all of us are called to be saints, and let's go for it. Amen. And so let us pray. Holy Father, we pray that you bestow wisdom, honesty and mental strength on all those leaders in central government and regional councils who are tasked with making some very difficult decisions to keep us safe from the results of this awful and unrelenting virus. There are so many considerations to take into account that they cannot make it right for everyone, but with understanding and cooperation from us all, they might, with your help, lead us through this awful time in our lives. In the name of Christ. Amen. Lord, in the same way, we pray for those people who are struggling to deal with unemployment or reduction of income as a result of the pandemic. Empower them with patience and hope that life will improve and the strength to seek help from others. We thank you for those organisations who provide food banks and communities which reach out to support the many families affected, both nationally and locally. Our love goes out to the many volunteers who work with those groups and to everyone who gives generously to the food banks. We ask your blessings on them all. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for the glorious colours of autumn which are so evident in the countryside around Uckfield. Help us to really appreciate the climate here in the southeast of England, even though we may be unhappy with some aspects of it. The abundance of trees, plants and wildlife we enjoy is the envy of so many countries in the world which have to endure real extremes of weather and conditions such as droughts and wildfires. We pray we may always cherish nature's gifts and be mindful of carelessness of actions which could damage them. Merciful Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Happy birthday, Father John. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday Father John, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday Father John, we hope you have a great day. Happy 60th birthday, have a spectacular day, love the McFarlane's. Bye. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Father John. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Father John. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, John. <laughs> and happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, the Father John. Happy birthday to you. I hope you have a nice day. Bye. Happy birthday to Father Thomas John. Happy birthday, Father John. We hope you have a lovely day. Happy 60th birthday, Father John. Happy birthday, Father John. Happy birthday, Father John. Have a lovely time celebrating. Happy birthday, Father John. Yay! Happy 60th birthday, Father John. 
everyone. Hope you have a fantastic day. Happy birthday, Father John. Thank you for all you do. Okay, can we tell Father John we love him? Have a fabulous, fabulous 60th birthday, Father John. We appreciate everything you do for us. Love you. Have a lovely weekend. Over and out. Thank you.